your first alert weather. Okay, bright over IF to start with this morning. Uh, we're going to see temps. Uh, yeah, what did you just jump in the river? What was that? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, my water broke. Uh, it's going to be uh, bright around here. Be careful if you are going to be in the in the river. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, there is indeed some bright sunshine over the newly revamped and revamping of Holt Arena. I can't wait for that. 48 in Pocatello and the sun uh, will be going down tonight just after 9 o'clock. It's going to be a bright beginning around here. You're going to need your sunglasses. You'll need to have that SPF and a hat and make sure you're hydrated. If you have a camelback, please see a chiropractor or just make sure it's full of water, not vodka. Don't try to do that. That's a problem. It's going to be in the 50s tonight and then we'll head toward the upper 80s into tomorrow. So we get these waves that come through here, stir up some of these afternoon winds, 10 to 15 miles an hour, and then cool us down for a day and then we bring it back. So so we'll have some afternoon showers uh, just to the north of us. It's 49 and bright in Blackfoot this morning. Look at that gorgeous Idaho sunshine. Jackson, Wyoming's got their sunshine too, and it's 40 degrees with the light winds out of the north, and that may pull in some smoke, but the good news is high pressure and the southwesterly winds are keeping that at bay. So there is just a little divot of smoke into Montana. We're in the 40s in some of our mountain areas this morning with light winds. They'll gust this afternoon. The real story, though, is the heat and the severe weather weather that is into parts of the boot of Louisiana this morning, dropping through Arkansas and Oklahoma, and it's just a mess of a heat wave. It's like living in a microwave in Texas, and if you've never lived there, I don't recommend it. Your tramp stamps will melt, I'm telling you. High pressure over the top of us. High means dry with a little wave of wind through here and low pressure. There's not much to show you on Vipercast other than the fact that it will be clear and you'll have that hot wind, and it can help sometimes, but let that cool air into the house or a trailer hut early this morning and that way you can turn the fan on and enjoy some of that uh, cool air that you've retained. That's what I like to do. I just invite people in all night long. They bring drinks and I'm, I'm awake. People are spinning out in their trucks overnight because they don't have a job. Uh, fireworks, you know, launching mortars still. Don't do that. We've got some fire danger out there as well with dry conditions. <laughs> But again, sleep therapy works. Sunny, warmer, afternoon breezes today, maybe up to 20 miles an hour, low 90s down the I-15 racetrack. It'll be 82 in Jackson. Warmer as you get toward Pocatello and probably a little cooler. It feels good around the American Falls Reservoir, which is French for large hole. 87 in Salmon, 88 in Chalice, 83 in Ketchum. You head over toward Blacktail, you'll probably be close to 90 degrees in the hole and things will be a little cooler tomorrow. So we get a little bit of a wave and then we ramp back up and do some possible record setting temperatures for a lot of folks in the valley as we get towards Sunday. Blackfoot's going to be in the lower 90s. We back off. We'll keep things in the 90s, but look at Sunday. <laughs> Hot. Rexburg 87, 86 for tomorrow with again a wave through here and a little moisture. And then we fire up the grill and start cooking on into Sunday. Jackson will be in the lower 80s, mid to upper 40s. Still nice in the early morning and late afternoon hours. Best time to walk the dog and keep their little paws off the pavement. I like those little doggy shoes people wear. You know, you could use those for little humans too because you get four of them and just buy two, get two free if you think about it. Uh, it'll be 94. That's like a really bad Amazon deal. It's going to be hotter on into Sunday. 95 around here. Idaho Falls cooking with gas. We're still hovering around 91 to 89 degrees. That's at the airport, which remembers out there in the country by the melted soccer ball across the street. It'll be 93 on into Sunday afternoon. There may be some triple digit temperatures into that hot pocket between Pocatello and Burley, especially as we get into Sunday around here. Uh, tell me what you're buying on Amazon Prime and tell me what maybe is the worst thing you bought on there too. I'll be back.